Hi all, I just want to show you um, a quick video on don't destroy on load. So someone was asking me uh, about it, um, this don't destroy on load function. Um, so I decided to put together a quick video to explain it. So here it is. Uh, let me just show you the code. Uh, here is the function, don't destroy on load. And let me just see, can I bring in the, uh, the documentation on it. Uh, let me just bring in a new tab, uh, Unity, uh, don't destroy on load, there you go, there you go, and this is it, and it says it does not destroy the target object when loading a new scene. So the idea here is that I have a, a scene and I have I put a level manager into it, and um, when the scene gets created, uh, the awake function on the level manager gets called. Um, and now in this particular one, you don't have to do this, but in, in this particular example, I am using a singleton. So I have a, an instance variable of type static. And remember what a singleton is, is that this variable will be shared between all instances of the level manager. So if you were to create a hundred level manager, um, if you were to create you know, 100, have a hundred game objects in your in your scene, um, and attached a level manager script to each of them, then there'd be a hundred level manager objects created. So for every level manager script that's attached to a game object in your scene, you're going to get a level manager uh, object. Um, and if that was the case, if you had eleven game, a uh, hundred game objects, and each of them had a level manager script attached to it, then you'd have a, a, a hundred level manager objects. But because this variable is static, that would mean all hundred game objects would share this value. So if you change the value of this variable uh, to something, it would be it, it, all one hundred um, level manager objects would have the same value. So, for example, if this was an int, it's not, it's a level manager, but if this was an int and one of the 100 game objects changed instance to 10, well, then the instance variable on all the other 99 would also be set to 10. So they all share the same, the same, same variable. So this variable is of type level manager. Uh, so the idea behind, behind a singleton is when you create a level manager, um, or any, it doesn't have to be a level manager, but in, in this case it is, but when you create a, a game object, uh, you create a static variable of type, uh, called instance of type level manager in my case, and I am going to put the, 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 the level manager object that just got created equal to this instance. And, and that's what a static variable is. And, and also the great thing about a static variable is you can access it easily uh, in any script by just going uh, the name of the class dot the name of the variable. So level manager instance and you have you have access to the, to the variable. So anyway, I'm not going to go over uh, singletons again. So here it is. Uh, and this is the, what my code used to be. Uh, it used to be just instance equals this in, in the awake function. Uh, now I have, and I'll come back and I'll explain all of this in a second, but now I have don't destroy on load. So, and I'm passing in the game object. So I'm saying, and remember, I'm just going to show you the script. There is a game object called level manager that has the script attached to it, the script level manager attached to it. Um, so maybe, um, yeah, anyway. Um, so what, I, what I'm saying is that when... Uh, this don't destroy on load game object gets called. We're saying please don't destroy this game object and all components on it. So the script, the level manager script as well. Don't destroy this game object when um, when we leave the scene. So I'm going to go for, to, to another scene and when we leave it, don't destroy it. So let's let's uh, let's sh I'll, 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 sh I'll show you what I mean. So here you go, I've started the, the scene, I'm in the demo scene, and you, you see straight away that Unity has created this grouping called Don't Destroy on Load, and in it is the level manager. So it's just saying that, um, it's just saying that um, we, we have a game object um, that's not to be destroyed when we load a new say, scene, and it's the level manager one. Now I have written code here in the update function so that when I press the S key, S for switch, when I press the S key, we will move to uh, another scene. So I'm going to press the S key uh, now. And there you go, you, we've moved to look, uh, demo scene two. And you can see in demo scene two, we have the level manager uh, is still there. Now let me just show you um, 
demo scene too. Um, there you go. Let me go to demo scene. There's demo scene two. Now you'll see in demo scene two, I don't have a level manager, and this is really important. So in demo scene one, or uh, demo scene, I have a level manager. In demo scene two, I don't. And the idea is, once we start the game in demo scene, we will create the level manager will be created. We won't destroy it when we load a new scene. So then, when we do load demo screen scene two, the level manager from the previous scene will be accessible and will still be there. So there you go, one more time. Here it is in demo scene. We can see we have the level manager and it's tagged or it's classified as don't destroy on load. I press S and I go to demo scene two. Here's demo scene two. And I, I didn't have a level manager in that, but because I won't create it from the previous scene, I can access it in this scene. Uh, and now I, go, I press the S key again and I'm going back to the, the original demo scene and my level manager uh, that was there originally is still there. Now I've rigged up my code so that these every time I jump on these coins um, my score is going to go up. So I'll just show you here I over here and I go up and you can see the score has gone up to one. I'll move over here score has gone to two score has gone to three and now I'm going to press the S to switch to the new scene switched. I'm now in demo scene two and you can see look the score is three because I'm still using the level manager from the previous scene. I'll go over here, I'll jump on this coin. Now my level my score is four. I press S to go back and you can see my score is four. Of course when I came back to this scene the these were all recreated. My my coins that I destroyed the pro the previous time were all recreated and I, I if I switch back to demo scene two this one is, is there as well. But my level manager has been persistent. It, 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 the same level manager exists in both uh, scenes. So I'll just show you the code for it. Um, so this code here, I'll leave you go through this yourself. This is on the level manager. And it's simply saying if you press the S key, uh, and if you're in the demo scene, go to demo scene two. If you're in demo scene two, go to demo scene. So it's just switching between them. Uh, here's the awake function. The awake function will get called every time a new level manager gets created. So wh when the demo scene, that's the first one, starts for the very first time, the awake function will be called. We'll say, is this variable equal to nothing? Is it equal to null? It will be. So we'll say, put this variable equal to this level manager object. So we'll put it equal to this level manager object. That's the one that's just been created. And we'll say, don't destroy the game object that this level manager script is on when we leave the scene. And then I set the score to zero. So there, I've made this public int uh, score. I also have a coin controller on every coin and it's, it simply says, uh, you know, anytime something collides with it, uh, go to the level, man use the level, the name of the class, go to instance, which is the, the level, the one and only level manager object that's being created and increment the score. And then I just, then I destroy the, the coin. Um, so that's it. Um, then, in the second scene, demo scene two, we don't have a level manager, but because this is uh, set to don't destroy on load, we'll be able to access it in the second uh, scene. It'll hang around, it won't, it won't get destroyed. But when we come back to the first scene, Unity will call the awake function again and would actually create a, a second level manager object. Yeah? Um, so the, in the sec now, we've, now we have two level manager objects, the, the first one uh, and now this new one. Um, and it will execute the, the awake function of the new one and it'll say if instance is equal to null, but instance isn't equal to null. Instance is equal to the level manager, the original level manager. So it just won't go into here. And any time we use level manager dot instance, we'll be still accessing the original one. Now just to prove the point, I'm just going to comment out this if for a second. And I'll press save, uh, go back into my code, press play. Uh, press but there we see a level manager uh, let me just jump up and get a score the score is is one i'm going to press s to switch there you can see look the level manager is here in demo scene two the score is one let me just uh, let me grab this chap again jump up here score is now two let me switch back now look i've got two level managers i've this one where the score is two and this one the new one where the where the score is zero so uh, what happened was um the second, when, when we came back into demo scene two, the second level manager got created and it set the instance 
to this new second one and don't and it said don't destroy it so now we've got two game objects that we've asked unity not to destroy the first level manager and the second level manager and now if i so remember, this is my original one with the score two. This is my new one with the score one. And if I now go and sort of bump into a coin, it is on the new one that the score has been changed. So on the new level manager score is one and on the old level manager, it's still two. Obviously this is not what we want. So just to fix it, we just say, listen, if it's not null, if this instance variable is not null, well then um, don't change the instance to the new one, level managers, to the new level manager object that's created and don't call don't destroy uh, and that will fix it for us okay i hope that makes uh sense to you if you have any questions uh please let me know